Hello everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do something different and make a reaction video. I found a video on YouTube of Pen and Teller Fullas with the magician performance which I've never seen before. I've never seen this magician, I've never seen this performance. Um, I, to be honest, rarely watch uh, Pen and Teller Fullas, to be honest, but I watch many lectures and other magician performances as well. So I think it's gonna be interesting. So let's go dive into it. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, and let me know if you like this kind of videos on this YouTube channel. So let's go. I'm just an average guy and nobody, but I always wanted to be an artist. So I tried to play nobody piano. Can relate. I was bad. I tried juggling. Oh, juggling! I, I was very bad. I wanted oh, to play. I can feel you. <laughs> then one day I discovered the most humble prop in magic, the lowly sponge. It was Spongles. love at first sight. I was bad at other kinds of magic, oh, it's, so it's I invented so... my own techniques to be good at the sponge. When I performed for other magicians, they never seen my techniques before. They were amazed. I didn't know my magic was amazing. <laughs> so now I'm a little famous, a spongeologist, the magician who wrote the book on sponge magic, literally, all because of my little friend and me. That's really cool. I have sponge balls, but I've never um, performed much with this and never worked and tried all the techniques. I know the basics, but not that much. I really need to check this out, this guy's materials. Let's go. I'm really excited. Please welcome the sleight of hand of Chulio. Chulio. It's going to appear there. It's so clean. Have you seen? It. Have you seen how he got the second one? Because I, I, I certainly didn't see it. It's a Tibetan bowl. <laughs> With them and a simple vibration, in a lot of cultures, they think that the energy can flow and even materialize. I would like to play with the sound and with the silence. Yeah, it's happened. With a little bit of silence, one of the balls disappear. While I'm talking, nothing, nothing happens. But when I shut up, <laughs> yes, it goes away. And the yes, last one. he's good. He's good. <laughs> the last one, because some. But so far, if you know the basics, how to do sponge ma magic. This kind of second part, you probably can know how it's done. Sometimes the silence kind of speak for itself. But this one, this and is when silence awesome. speaks, the sound answers. This is awesome. This is really cool. I know a bit how it's done, but ah, the rest is I, I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, I would like to play a little bit different, a little bit different, with one, two, and the last one. Okay, but the, the ball need to be upside down like, like before, and the last one. Before, I used a little silence to make one ball disappear, but now, if I do a longer silence, it disappear more. I've been watching just a song and it came. It's, it's so good. 
it's so visual and I like that he's doing everything so slow you know sometimes magicians try to rush everything and um, I got the message from illusionists that come in the letter that magicians need to try to do everything 60% slower and this guy is doing very slow and it's amazing knowing this knowing this I don't need to move the balls. I just need to do a sound and they came. The first one, a sound. And the second, and the last one, like the previous ones. Just a sound and there is one, two, and the last ball. I don't know how big it is, <laughs> no idea. Okay, please, Alison, can you help me? Please put your hand palm up like this and take these two balls really tight in your hand. Okay. Put your hand like this. Okay, a simple silence to make it disappear. If I carry the sound, it's done. You got three. Mm -hmm. Open your hand. <laughs> there is one, two, and <laughs> three. That's so good. It's good. I can do a lot of things with the vibrations because if I, like I put the one ball in my pocket and I take the essence of the ball like this, with a sound, I always got three. And I can repeat it a thousand times. Two on my pocket, on my hand. That's it. It's no need to put on my pocket. You can take in your hand. Pop up like that. Because, um, and the previous one that I put on my pocket, you can take in your hand too. Because the important is not the place where I put the ball. The important is that I take the essence. I put on the ball, I tap, and I always got three. And I can repeat it a thousand times. This is for you, of course. Use two hands because it's easy. And I always go through. I can repeat a thousand times. This is for you, and I always got three. Uh, this is really good. This is awesome. I can do this faster. I can do this a lot of times. For example, this is for you. I just stop, and I always go, don't drop the ball, please. This is for you, and I always got three. One, two. <laughs> this doesn't mind, and I always got three. One, two. This, <laughs> but don't drop the ball, Alison. Please don't drop the ball. Sometimes happen that if I tap one, <laughs> if I tap just one, I appear one. But if it's continuously sounds sounding, I always got three. I always got three. I I always got three, I always got three, I always got three. The one way to finish this is I always got three, I always got three. The one way to finish this is I always got three. It gives you the three balls, it gives you the stick, it stops the sound and it gives you and thank you so much because it's one way to finish this. <laughs> oh, this is so so good. I like this. I like, I like, I like, I like. Incredible ball. Yeah. I lost your balls. I, <laughs> I lost my balls too. <laughs> Does your beard like have magic powers? Yes, yes, I think so. With my beard, I can produce balls. <laughs> I guess I need to grow mine as well. <laughs> Any more? Your hair? No, no, maybe in yours, but in mine, no. Hey! Why is that one green? I don't know, it's a bit, that's green. All right, it's time to check in with Penn and Teller. Oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Penn and Teller. I bet he fooled them, I bet you know, he fooled them. Because uh, he's so like good. Sponge balls. I mean, I guess we liked them when we were six. Seven, you know, you, when you're a child, you start with sponge balls, which you start with. Yes. And when you see someone come out with sponge balls, it automatically means beginner, means hack magician. At least it always has, until you. The sponge ball stuff, we first saw sponge balls and we got complacent. We said, this is stuff we've been doing since we were children. And then it got to be things we hadn't done since we were children. And then it got to be stuff that, no one had done 
ever. And then it got to be stuff that was impossible. Then it got to be stuff that, uh, well, I, I hate to say this, but you're the, you're the Shim Lin of sponge balls and you fooled us. This is Shim Lin of sponge balls, yeah. What else can you ask for? Yeah, really cool. Oh, really thank you so much. Beautiful. Just a thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he, he did a good job. He did a good job. It's awesome. It's awesome. I like it so much. The thing is with sponge balls, as it was mentioned, magicians started with sponge balls, but I've seen many performances, like many performances of magicians uh, who perform sponge ball magic so good and so creative, you just cannot stop wondering how it's done. And this guy is really good. I need to pick up, I need to find his DVDs now, his uh, books and so on, and also learn something with sponge balls because I know a bit of stuff, but he, he's so good, he's so clean, he's doing everything slow, even when he started to do it, everything so fast and fast and mm, increase the speed, he did everything slowly, you know, at the same time, his sleight of hand is really good with sponge balls, he did a really good job, I like it so much. I hope you enjoyed this video as well, so thank you so much for watching, if you like this uh, kind of mm, reaction videos, I like them. I watch major performances anyway, anyway, so why not to discuss it with you? So write what you think about this. Um, how do you like the uh, SpongeBob's as magic performances? So let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and see you guys in the next one. Bye.